in this video i'm going to be talking about the samsung odyssey g30 and the best settings it's a very easy process so make sure to follow along in this video i'm going to present what i believe are the best settings for you to enjoy your samsung odyssey g30 monitor keep in mind that even though these settings are primarily aimed at gamers you will still be able to use them to get a good experience for consuming content so watching movies watching anime and anything else that you might do so instead of going over to these settings on windows or a console that you might be using you want to use the buttons underneath the odyssey g30 to open up the osd this panel is where you will be able to change the main settings so the default category game is where you will change most of the settings first make sure that the refresh rate is set to the highest possible this is especially important if you are playing games so usually you will see 120 and then 144 depending on your model if you have a different one from the g30 you might also see 165 and even higher so just set it to the highest possible that you have so in this example 144 if you cannot see these very high refresh rates make sure that you are using a display port cable usually display port will allow you to use extremely high refresh rates in contrast to hdmi so always use a display port cable if available then choose the highest refresh rate from here next for the response time make sure that you set it to extreme if you have the option so because these panels are usually VA panels whenever there are moving elements on the screen they will leave behind a trace and this trace can be very annoying to look at so by increasing the response time you can lower this significantly set it to extreme and if you notice anomalies then you can lower it to faster or just set it to fast but extreme should be the best Low input lag should be enabled. This will make it so there isn't as much latency when you do any sort of action with a keyboard, mouse, and controller. Black equalizer should be 13, which should be the default option as well, so you don't even have to worry about this. Virtual aim point off. And screen size should be set to automatic. This way, the entirety of the monitor is going to be filled. And these, in my opinion, are the most important settings. You can go over to the picture category, but in here, I believe that the settings are going to be personal. So you will find stuff like brightness, contrast, sharpness, and saturation. You should change these according to your preferences. If having high brightness hurts your eyes, then make sure to lower it accordingly. For example, I like having a very colorful image with a lot of sharpness, so I would increase the sharpness and saturation. It is important that you set aside some minutes and you find out what works for you. There is no best setting and it's all down to your personal preferences depending on what you want to achieve. But these settings that I highlighted here are going to be very important. I hope I was able to help you on the Samsung Odyssey G30 best settings. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.